Good morning. I am coming at you today from the house. Uh, you can see the puppies in the window there. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of a work day, I suppose. Just got some things I need to do. I wish we could be out in the sticks, but uh, uh, you can't have that every day, right? What we're doing today, I think we have kind of officially decided that we are going to sell old Schwanky, the trailer that I just brought home from my parents. We just kind of can't come up with any way to use it. And, you know, you have a look around. I don't have anywhere to park it either. So what we're gonna do is get it cleaned up. Uh, I wanna verify that all the different systems on it work, uh, make sure that everything is good. I already started that process a few days ago and I'll show you here in a second that we found the fresh water tank was uh, unhappy. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, but for now, uh, I guess I'm going to get the knuckleheads loaded up and we'll get down and pick up the trailer from my office, bring it back here and start working. Hey, do you want to come with daddy? Do you guys want to come with daddy? All right, come on, get in the truck. Get in the truck. Good babies. Hey, puppy's in the back. Hey, puppy's in the back. Get puppies in the back. Ready? Ha <laughs> ha. That puppy's in the back. here with Schwanky. We've got Yankee. We've got Schwanky. And we've got, uh, I don't know, an old fat man. I've got it all hooked up, ready to go. The dogs are out and running around having fun. Now we just gotta put the truck into moose mode. And we're ready to roll. So we are back home. I now have uh, Yankee and Schwanky here at the house. So I've got it all home uh, so we can start working on it. Uh, I'll just kind of give you a quick, you know, touch up on, on what we're doing. Mostly what we're doing is just little, you know, it's been sitting for 11 years. So let's get things cleaned up, right? For instance, you've got this utility shower here, right? So we open this up, look at all that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, so much dirt, like you could plant things in there, right? Everything in the trailer just has such a high level of like dust in it, dust and dirt. So we're gonna get all of that cleaned out. The surface of the of the trailer really just kind of it just kind of needs to be cleaned. I thought about getting some polish out, and I might still actually like you know get the polisher out. And brrr, but 
I'm gonna try and avoid it because that sounds like a lot of work. There's a couple lights like what you see here that the housing is just kind of cracked and so I've got replacements for these. And you can see I already replaced the propane hoses here, the old ones were just hard as a rock. Uh, I put a new battery in it and I put a whole new battery box on there. I had planned on putting a second battery here, but if I'm gonna be selling it, the next owner can do that if that's something they want. I also just replaced the nose jack. Uh, I've got the, the nose wheel down there. And you can actually see here where I had to cut it off with my acetylene torch because the old one was welded on here and there just wasn't enough room to get my grinder in there to cut it off. So uh, which I used fire. You can see this, this white line here, this line used to plug into a fitting that used to exist right here. Well, this being a plastic tank and that was a plastic fitting, it just got old over time, broke and fell off. Well, this white hose is the water supply line for the entire trailer. So there's a water pump in there and this is where it grabs the feed from. And so that's not gonna work. So it's not quite here yet, but I have ordered a, a new fitting that I will bolt into here. This one is an original plastic fitting and I guess they're plastic welded in here. I am putting in a brass bulkhead fitting. So the fitting will actually drop down from the outside. It will tighten up up against the bottom and create a nice seal. And then another fitting will screw into the bottom of that that will then screw into the hose and that should work perfectly. Uh, beyond that, I mean, you can see under the trailer, everything seems to look good. Everything's there. Now we just got to set about cleaning it. Let's go. All right, so we're still cleaning the inside but the port side is done. Yay! This is video, so it'll probably flash funny, but uh, oh, that's not, that's not. There it is, yay, it works. So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta pull this toilet out. Uh, I guess the way these things work, there's a little flap at the bottom, and when you step on this pedal, you step on that, the flap moves back and forth, and that, you know, whatever happened to be inside of that bowl now goes down into the tank, right? I guess the seal around that little whatever movie slidey thing isn't sealing anymore and so it won't hold water. You're supposed to use this little sprayer attachment or whatever, or maybe this, this pedal over here puts a little bit of water in there so that you can, whatever happens in here happens in here. So I've already got the parts, I've got them ordered up to replace that. Now I just have to pull the thing out of here. Since I don't really want to work on it here, I'll take it in the garage and we'll make it work. Toilet. As long as we're in here, Marlo's been cleaning this up. Look how nice this looks. Everything's clean. I kind of cleaned it a little bit. I didn't clean it very well. I'm pretty lazy about this. But Marla does an awesome job, and now everything looks fantastic. Look at the drawers. Look at it's, they're like I don't know if you can see. They're like glowing. They're amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so the toilet is a part, and I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to work on it in here, but. This came apart completely differently than I thought it was gonna. Like I thought this piece was attached to that piece and all that, no, this one goes on there, but I don't know how these things work. So it looks like the flapper that I need to mess with right down in there. The gasket for it is there. Looks like all I have to do is take these screws out along that rim and then this whole bottom piece should come off and I should be able to get to everything just fine. Okay, so I don't have the water hooked up yet, but you can see that there's water in there. There's water standing. Toilet works. Yay! We'll see that again. Pour some water in there. And it just stays there. Yay, it works. And it's gone. Bye-bye. Done. Okay, so this is a bulkhead fitting. So you can see, you can see I've already filed this smooth so that it will seal up real nice. And then this fitting is just gonna end up coming out the bottom like so. Okay, so I'll take this piece, I'm gonna drop it in from the top so when that sits in the top, you can see it's real thin right there. So as the water fills up in this tank, you know, if I did it this way, you'd lose that much water. You bring it down this way and you barely lose any capacity whatsoever.
Okay, so I'm not gonna make this nut here overly tight. A uh, couple reasons. One, when I screw the 3 8 elbow into here, I just gotta, it's gotta match up with the hose and the hose is coming from this direction. So I don't wanna screw it in and have it uh, tighten down in this direction. So I need to be able to spin this and have that be whatever direction it needs to be. As well, with these rubber gaskets, I mean, you can tighten it up till the cows come home and that's a very big wrench, right? You can get a lot of leverage on it. But you can over tighten that gasket and actually pop it out. And I can feel on the inside and I can feel on the outside here that it's, it is squashed. So that means it's sealed. So I'm gonna leave this like this. This fitting right here came in today. Uh, the one that I ordered that actually goes in here, the elbow doesn't show up till tomorrow. So I'll put that in early next week, but it's nice to have this in here now. <laughs> so, this might be a little silly, but I'm out here on the back porch today. And uh, the so the, the fitting to go underneath the tank, uh, it, it got delayed in Amazon. Amazon says, yeah, it'll be there in like a day. And in like two or three days, it was like, oh, we got lost in shipping and it'll be there soon. And, I just canceled the order and ordered a new one today, so hopefully we should have one in a couple days, but that doesn't leave me with much to do. So, <laughs> I have I have this crossbow, and uh, I picked it up, uh, got it from the parents uh, when we were out there over Christmas, and I ain't done nothing with it yet, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a crossbow other than shoot zombies, and uh, so I went and I picked up, it's probably not, exactly what you want but i picked up a big roll of foam and so now i just want to i don't know <laughs> see if it works and i'm in my cutie patootie pants and my flippy flops because why wouldn't you right that's appropriate crossbow uh, attire right this is like match grade or something so i'm gonna see if i can make it work Way in there. Okay, now I gotta, now I gotta dig the arrow out. Again, uh, again, lots of penetration. Like this is, this is probably a poor target to be shooting at, but it works. I'm like all the way over there. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. What is that? Ten yards? Yeah, ten yards, fifteen yards. I'm like a, a marksman. I am a master. I don't even know what you call. I'm, I'm like Daryl. Let's just say I'm Daryl. Still have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but the crossbow is cool. <laughs> I dig it. Okay, so here we are. A week later, the trailer is back again. I finally have this piece, right? This is the fitting that needs to go underneath the trailer there to make the tank work. Sometimes when you order things on Amazon, they show right up. And sometimes they don't, and this time it didn't. So uh, I have it now, so it's time to get to work on this. Should get the tank working, and that should get the water working, and everything should be awesome after that. So here we go. Put some water in there, see if it holds. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers for me. I want this to be done. So far, we're good. Oh, and there's water there, because there's water coming out of here. Let's turn on that pump. 
and water. Ha! <laughs> yay! Cold. Hot. Yay! Nasty toilet. Water. Yay! And it holds water. And it flushes. And then there's this little hand thing. I mean, I guess if you're really, really messy, if you're really messy, hand thing. And that works. So, just put that get back over there. That's where that goes. Wash that back down. <laughs> water! So, now that the water works, and I know the water works, now I gotta find out if the hot water heater works. So now I gotta figure out how to turn on the hot water heater. So let's go outside to figure it out. Okay, so I'm working on it. Um, Try and get the water heater to work. So this is the water heater control and the instructions say, rotate this all the way over to pilot, hold it like that, like the pilot, the pilot is actually right down there. It's the bottom little tiny tube. And then hold this over like this to pilot for 30 seconds, okay? And then, after that 30 seconds, you're supposed to turn this knob back to just on, and then everything should be happy. If the pilot light goes out, repeat the process and keep holding it for longer and longer and longer until the pilot light stays on. Well, I ain't got the pilot light to stay on yet. I mean, I probably held it for a minute, maybe two minutes, and then it, it itself it starts to waver and goes out. So. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I'm gonna keep working on it. People gonna keep driving by. All right, so I'm really not sure why I can't get the water heater to stay lit. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll look online, see if I can find some recommendations or something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of stumped at the moment, so I'm just moving on to something else. So, next project, this board that I'm holding up here, goes right there okay so this guy just sits down in here and boom right sits like that and then this side catches water or whatever well i guess when the thing was new they took some of this like linoleum flooring product and just ran it up the side and over down to the back side here and then screwed it all together. Well, the adhesive came off of that and it all peeled up. And so all this was was just a bare board. I went to Home Depot and I found some like contact paper stuff and turned out to be a huge fail. It was too thin. And like you can see here, it just cuts right through. So I'm gonna peel all of this off. And then when I got something different that is definitely gonna make it waterproof, but we're gonna see how it looks. Here, I'll show you. Shower pan liner. I, I looked everywhere. I don't, I mean, maybe there's some kind of laminate that's made for this. I just, I just haven't found it. And I haven't exactly searched and searched and searched until, uh, I don't know, until it blew in the face or something. I don't know. When I went to Home Depot, the guy at Home Depot said, why don't you just use some shower pan liner? And okay. So this, this is actual like, you know, shower pan liner. And it is thick and it is malleable so that you can kind of wrap it around the edge like that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel all of this paper off of here that's really not stuck on very well anyway. And then I'm going to use some spray glue, glue it down, and then I'll wrap it over the edges and staple it. Alright, so it's getting dark. I know it's a GoPro, so hopefully you can see me. Uh, yeah, I'll walk you inside and show you. Oop, music may be too loud back there. Alright, so this is the gray board thingy. Doesn't look great. 
that thing snapped and so now it's not covering up fancy like that and I don't know. I think I would just, that's how I'm gonna live with it. So now, the only thing left is I gotta make the hot water heater work. And I haven't got that far yet, but I'm bringing this, see? So I can like light it and then it goes out. I light it and it goes out and I don't have to run out of matches. So let's go outside and see what we can do. Okay, so you can see. So we've got a pilot. And it says to hold it for 30 seconds. All right, so now it's been 30 seconds. It says to kind of release off of this. Oh, and it went out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea. But this is it. This is the only thing left that needs to work, and then everything on the trailer works. Everything. Everything. <laughs> 